Oh. We just take us to that first quarter, just in the electric atmosphere, quite the start for the team on both sides. Just what was the energy heading into the night? Uh, I mean, very high, obviously, getting to come back and play in front of our fans, best fans in the country for sure. And they showed out tonight, so it was a great feeling uh, getting back here in that game, too. Running down, running down the hill, of that first quarter was electric. Wade, when your offense is balling out like that, I mean, what does that do on the defensive side of the ball for you guys? Uh, it's a great feeling when the first time we step on the field, it's seven nothing. Now, I've been saying, I've been saying since Bryant Wesco got here, he's that dude. So, I mean, first third down of the game, we saw it. So. Sam Brown, a freshman linebacker tonight, leading the team in tackles. How have you seen him continue to grow even so early on this year? Yeah, Sammy's done a great job since he got here. Really proud of how he played tonight. And it was definitely going to add depth in our room. You know, it's much needed. Um, really excited to see what the future holds for us. You guys have had sort of a tale of two extremes. I mean, what was the, the atmosphere like in the locker room just now? Exactly how you expect. <laughs> pretty, pretty fun dance party. Was it a good bounce back for you guys on the defense this week? Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think. The practice, practice all throughout the week. We had great energy. Um, we know we have the pieces to get, it, to get the job done and get to the, the goals we want to accomplish. So putting it together at practice and believing, keep believing. The big one tonight, and you'd like to keep it going, but you have a bye next week. How is that going to affect you guys? Eyes on the stage. I mean, it doesn't affect us at all. It's just we get an extra week to prepare. Um, our eyes are on the on the next opponent. We take this time to take care of our bodies and get prepared. We're going to Columbia speech after the Georgia game, so who's going to bring the most energy to get Monday to today. Just how has this week of preparation helped benefit you guys against Dallas State? Can you ask that question? With Kate Plumnick's speech after the Georgia game, promising just the best energy possible on Monday leading to tonight. Just how did this week of energy sort of prepare you guys for the start you had? Um, I think we all really just got behind our quarterback. Um, I'm going to ride or die for that guy over there. So that's how the perspective of the entire team feels. And I really think that this week contributed to that. This explosiveness you saw from your offense line, is this something on the practice field that you guys from the defensive side has always known was there? Yeah, for sure. They, they played all the time with us. And they did a great job. What's it meant to be able to see those younger guys come in and get some time, get some confidence? How do you think that benefits you guys going forward? Um, I think it just, first of all, it's, it's fun. Like to be able to, as a, it's weird to say I'm an older guy now, <laughs> um, to take a step back. Like I saw my little brother go in and miss a tackle on his first play. So, <laughs> uh, but I think it's great. It's really fun just to like coach them up on the sideline and then root them on. And they can like be yelling at them when I'm staying on the sideline. Uh, but, and it adds a, it's going to help us in the future when we need depth. So for them to get in the game and get exposed a little bit and get their feet wet and learn is really beneficial for us as a team. How much crap are you giving for that missed tackle? I'm going to give him everything I got. <laughs> <laughs> but come on, dude. It's ruining the last name. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like to see Cade just in our own all cylinders like that? Oh, man, it's awesome. Um, I'm rooting for that guy, so whenever I see him succeed, it's a great feeling. Anything else?